Uh, time for the Max and Gold Cup. The next is a two and a half mile Grade Three handicap chase, and the top one is Sonic Khan for Jim Murray, Ainsa Sabarabro for Darren Thompson, Honey Star for Craig Beckwith, Under His Eye Ryan Tamasevi, Cypress Hill David Robertson, Band of Gold for Graham Clutterbuck, Overcome Scimitar for Alex Cherry, Confessions of an Assassin Paul Rhodes, Cheeks Gold. Craig Allen, Vintage Trader, Leon Van Rensburg, Shining Bright, Craig Beckwith, International Rescue, Paul Rhodes, Lock and Kai, Graham Clutterbuck, Rally Gazelle, John Morgan, Viva Paradiso, Daniel French, The Killer Coin, Joshua Sutherland, Word is My Bond Super, Martin Leedham, Fon Taff, David Hooley, El Sophia Miller, Thomas Rogers and Around Regal, Martin Leedham trying to stand its feet for the first time this season, they're away and racing already, and down towards the first of the fences then. And they get over it and they're all safely over the first, including a round rig. Well, they've got 15 more to take. And Confessions of an Assassin and International Rescue Stable Companions to the fore. But over on the far side of the early line, oh, there's a faller there. It's Aintis and Brabray's gone. So Aintis and Brabray on the deck at fence number two. And Lock and Kai in the lead for Graham Clutterbuck over the third. So they're all over the third then, and Lock and Kai's in the lead from Confessions of an Assassin in second. Vintage Trader is third. Word is my Bond Super. And on the inside is fourth. Then comes under his iron Sonic Khan. Rally Gazelles after that one there. Pretty tightly packed at the moment with Viva Paradiso, just the back marker and the loose horse Ainza Sabrabre running closest to us. So they're swinging left-handed then now, and Lock and Kai is in the lead by about three lengths to Vintage Trader and Confessions of an Assassin and Word is My Bond Super virtually three in a line. Under his eye just tucked in behind them as they get to number four. And there's another four and then it's El Sophia Mella's gone this time. So these Cheltenham fences are catching them out and El Sophia Mella ran straight through that one really. They get over the next and there's another one gone. It's Cypress Hill this time. So Cypress Hill is the faller there and three out now and already as they race down towards the sixth of the 16 and if they keep falling at this rate we won't have that many left at the end it's Lock and Kai though who is the leader by a good five lengths coming into this next one really stood off that one but got over it okay the rest of the field over it okay as well bit of a mistake by the killer queen has seen that one really to last as they get over the next and that time the mistake was by Honey Star, but it's Lock and Kai is in the lead then from Word is My Bond Super in second, and then under his eyes third. Rally Gazelle is four and then Shining Bright five. Confessions of an Assassin is next, but you can see them. The field are really tightly packed as they get to number eight, and they're all safely over that one. Around Regal didn't jump in all that brilliant, but it's amazingly still on its feet considering the amount of fallers you've had. And Lock and Kai in front. A good three to four coming down to this next one. Gets over it nicely. Mistake at the back by around Regal. Word is my Bond Super is in second. Shining Bright's moved through into third. Viva Paradiso is fourth. Then Band of Gold is in fifth. That's a stable companion of the leader as they get over the water. And they're starting to just begin to spread out just a little bit now. And it's Lock and Kai in the lead. From Word is my Bond Super second and Shining Bright third. Viva Paradiso is fourth and then Rally Gazelle. The Killer Queen's making good ground. So is Fon Taff as they get over that ditch. Really good jump by the horse in second. Word is my Bond Super and now moves up to within three quarters of a length of the leader, Lock and Kai. Over this next one then, didn't jump it so well that time. Word is my Bond Super and Lock and Kai opens up by two again. So Word is my Bond Super second, Rally Gazelle is third, International Gazelle is fourth, then Band of Gold, Fon Taff the Grey's getting closer. Shining Bright and the Killer Queen, Vintage Trader and Sonic Carter in mid-division under his eyes lost its place a little bit as they get over that ditch. And they're all safely over that one with a round regal, the back marker. But it's Lock and Kai in the lead. As he has been throughout by about a length. To World is my Bond Super and International Rescuer disputing second. Tucked in behind them is Rally Gazelle. Shining Bright is in fifth, and then a whole bunch of them with the Jim Murray horse Sonic Khan closest to us, making good ground. So too is Vintage Trader trying to run on from the back. He's overcome Scimitar. But over this 14th, they go. That's just two more to jump now, then. And it's Lock and Kai from International Rescue and Rally Gazelle. Word is my Bond Super on the inside is starting to beat a retreat. The Grey Font Tarf is coming around the outside, a challenge for the lead, though, with just two to jump. 
jumped and three furlongs to race. Fontaf has hit the front and Fontaf has gone on from Lock and Kai in second. International Rescue and Confessions of an Assassin Stable Companions running together. Then comes Band of Gold and after that one Rally Gazelle under his iron Sonic Carter still trying to get back into it again but it's Fontaf who's got the lead at the second last. Gets over it well, gets away from it well. Being chased by International Rescue and Rally Gazelle back to the final fence and Fontaf skips over it, gets away from it well and looks to be going clear. It's Fontaf past the furlong pole. Clear of Rally Gazelle in second. Vintage Trader trying to run on. Word is Mob on Super back in fourth. But it's Fontaf in the lead, racing up the hill towards the line. Fontaf, here comes Rally Gazelle with one last lunge. Fontaf needs the line. Rally Gazelle nearly gets up. Oh, it's close on the line. And Vintage Trader wasn't all that far away either. That is mighty close at the end. Fontaf looked like it had that race won. But Rally Gazelle is rallying like a gazelle and has got up to take it, I think. It's definitely took a share of it according to that. Could be a dead heat, could be a short head. Let's wait and see. It's a short head win for Rally Gazelle and John Morgan. Fontaf denied on the line for David Hooley in second. Vintage trader for Leon van Rensburg ran on well to be third. Word is my bond super for Martin Leland for a big race in fourth. And the killer queen for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.